All right, so I want to show you how to use our uh, CGU AI Center's computational resources. And uh, first of all, I want to uh, relay a message for you. Um, the director of the CGU AI Research Center, Professor Wang Youzhong, he is looking for a part-time helper to create uh, um, darker images. Okay, the darker images are very important for our AI center because we use those created darker images to do any kind of research. And uh, this is the information of the um, part-time job. And you, if you are interested in, and uh, you can earn some money from the, the job, okay? And you can learn how to create, manage, and use darker images, okay? So I want to show you some, it looks like the blur. Okay. Uh, wait, let me check whether I can adjust the resolution. Right. We should make it clear. Right, that's right. All right, okay. So, okay, so if you go to our um, cube flow system, you will see the user interface. And uh, let me show you the example here. Okay, so this is our cube. Uh, Flow user interface. And, okay, so from here, uh, click the notebook and uh, use the new notebook. You can create something. So le this is the notebook I created yesterday. And let me launch it so that, that you can see live demo later. So what I want to uh, show you is, okay, now, in the beginning, click the new notebook, and then you will uh, key in your homework, uh, okay, your home, the name of your notebook, and click the event, then key in some important property. The most important, actually, mo all of them are important because uh, if you want to do your homework for, I mean, create uh, images, if you want to use stable, stable diffusion, then you need to use GPUs at least uh, more than at least four. I'm not sure. Uh, I tried two and it fails. I tried eight, no problem. It's okay. And uh, it requires at least uh, 32 gig memory, so specify 32 here. And the uh, GPUs it doesn't have, but I usually use eight and uh, use NVIDIA and uh, then specify the uh, SSD size you want. Uh, it requires at least uh, 25 giga, but uh, since there are a lot of uh, space available, so I usually use 100. Okay, so this is the, um, okay. So another important thing is you need to use the JE5577 IEE remote desktop uh, rows. Uh, there are many darkers available, and I tried this, and I'm sure these darker images work, okay? And uh, the SS mode is not important. It's a, there are three options, read, write once, read, write many, and et cetera. But the option only matters if you want to use the same uh, storage to several darker images simultaneously. But if you only use one darker image, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay, first of all, you need to change the time zone because the darker image, remote desktop uh, rows, if the time zone is the uh, universal time zone, it means it is the London time zone. So change it to Taipei. 
and then create your virtual reminder. So there are some commands you need to key in. Uh, okay, when you launch the Docker image, you will in a base vir uh, virtual environment if you open your terminal. Okay. So this is the Anaconda's virtual environment. And uh, for most cases, it works. But uh, I tried. If I install a Jupyter on this virtual environment, it failed. I cannot turn on the Firefox browser. I don't know why. So this is an unknown reason. So my suggestion is to create a new virtual environment for your homework three. Okay. So in this case, you need to use a few comments. The counter deactivator. It means execute from the uh, base virtual environment, and use the uh, key uh, comments to create a new virtual environment. The name HW3 is the name I use. You can use any name you like. And then click Y to confirm you will create. Then you have the new uh, virtual environment. And then you need to use the Conta Activator Homework 3 to enter the virtual environment. There are a few commands. This is the Conta install PyTorch, Torch Vision, Torch Audio, Torch PyTorch CUDA and uh, the dash C means it will use specific channels to install those uh, libraries. And it takes a while to finish all of the uh, installation and uh, check your GPUs are available and ready. Okay. So you can use this command. You click Python and uh, you will get into the Python environment and import torch and try the command torch dot CUDA that is available. If it returns true, then it's okay. You can access the GPU. This is the most uh, important uh, resources you want. And uh, then use the command quit with parentheses to exit the, the uh, Python script uh, interrupter. And then uh, you I should, if you prefer, use Jupyter or Jupyter Notebook. Then install Jupyter by the command conda install Jupyter and then press Y to confirm it. It takes a while. Uh, and then use conda install matplotlib. Okay, this is a, a library I will use in my demo code. And uh, check your directory to this. Why? Is the Joff Yen? Uh, this because we use the Docker image remote desktop rows. The creator used the directory, so we have to follow it. But there's no, no way to modify it. So that's the reason. If you want, you can take the job and create your own library. <laughs> And it will help uh, all of your classmates. All right. Okay. So, um, because the dark image assume the user is the root. So, if you want to launch Jupyter Notebook, you need to use this option dash dash allow root, so that uh, you can turn it on. Otherwise, uh, the Jupyter Notebook will refuse to turn on. Okay. okay, then you can uh, access the Jupyter Notebook. All right, and uh, give your notebook a name. Okay, and uh, you can do, okay, so now this is the PyTorch sample code. And uh, what you can do, this is the web website. You can copy the code section by section into your Jupyter cell. And it will, okay, uh, you, th then you can run it. So let me show you how to do it. Okay. Mm. Let's see whether it, uh, I, I think it should. Okay, it, it doesn't, hmm. interesting.
right? Okay, got it. All right, then let's launch the thing. It's very weird. Click a, a simple notebook, this one. Okay. okay. Then you can. Okay. All of those uh, codes are copied from the PyTorch website. And you can run it. Okay. But click, just click the run and the run and the run. Okay. Then you can see the result. It will show a sample. Okay, this is. Uh, oh, I, I see, I see this is a resolution problem. Let me adjust the slightly. It will vary almost the same as the sample code from the PyTorch website. But something will be slightly different because this is a training process. So your final uh, accuracy won't be the same as the demo code because during the training process, there are some random or statistic uh, sample sampling. Okay. So what I want to say is now it's ready for you to do it. And there's another uh, one. Is the uh, I see I mean homework for homework four. So what I mean is the, on my slides, okay, there are a lot of instructions to how to oh, oh, so this is a little, how to install uh, stable diffusion. Okay, so let me check, okay. So if you want to stable diffusion, then okay. Download the installation script from the website, and then just do the same thing. So it takes around 20 minutes to install the solution. Then there are some uh, port conflict problem because we are using a darker image. Another pr process has occupied the port 9000. So there is a uh, solution to bypass it. Just change the port number from 9000 to another unused number, say 9001, and then, or you just kill the process using the port. Either way is fine. Okay. Then you can launch stable diffusion. Okay. So let's see whether I can show you a live demo. Okay, this one. All right. And. Uh, let me terminate the yeah. uh, let's okay let's turn it it yes
Okay, fine. Uh, I, I, I think I need to stop here. So I have what I say. If you follow the instructions, you should be able to install stable diffusion and run everything on your own account. Okay, then you can generate uh, images for your homework for. But what I want to say, is there are many different uh, uh, possible platforms to generate uh, images. A stable diffusion is just one, and the, you, of course you can run it on Google uh, Collab or somewhere, but it's free to run it on our AI uh, center's platform, okay? And for your home for try anything you want, okay? Uh, thanks, this is your, thanks for your sharing and the presentation.